Lightworkers, your time has come. It is another beautiful day, now in June of 2021, in what is becoming again, after millennia of time has passed, in what is becoming again, paradise planet Earth. For the Earth and you, our dear ones, our dear lightworkers, are ascending into a whole new and glorious paradigm. You can now see the plan of the Light Alliance. From your upper room perspective, from outside the matrix, from outside the training hologram that is the planet Earth experience, you can now see how humanity is being saved from the clutches of the Dark Ones. They have played the part of the Devil long enough. They have served their purpose. You have lived the human life. You have suffered as you were manipulated back and forth by their negative management, their negative control. You have felt dark and painful feelings. You have known shame and guilt. It is ironic that you, who are so kind, so sensitive, so caring, should feel guilt for your behaviour, which compared with your low vibrating brethren, has always been loving and compassionate. This is the upside down nature of the earthly experience. We come to earth to live through that which we cannot know in heaven. For in our spiritual existence, without a body, in oneness, in communion and camaraderie with our brethren, in unity with our God, we know only love. We were born onto earth to feel pain, to feel shame and guilt, anger and despair, so that we might all the more appreciate our glorious, awesome, heavenly reality. Our souls were created by God. Our souls are everlasting, immortal and indestructible. Our bodies were created by a combination of DNA contributed by many of our extraterrestrial brethren. Our bodies are the mechanism, the biological computer through which we can navigate this material realm, through which our souls can experience the human life. And with no memory of who and what we truly are, this earthly life has been a great challenge. We light workers have been particularly put upon. We have lived particularly difficult lives. For we, old souls that we are, have lived multiple lifetimes. We have been reincarnating on earth for millennia. We have been tempered. We have been pummeled into love by the darkness inflicted on us, by the dark forces, and by our still sleeping brethren. And we have felt less than we have felt shame and guilt. Our third dimensional brethren, those who have had as yet few lifetimes in this dense environment, are know-it-alls. Their ego is in charge. They are easily fooled by the control system into behaving in dark and devious ways. They see us, meek and humble souls, as easy fodder for their hurtful prods and pokes. They feel good, better than us, when they can put us down. And as we are chastised by them, in our humility, we perceive ourselves to be at fault. And we feel shame and guilt, for we must be wrong if we are treated so badly. We, in our loving nature, would never say the harsh and inconsiderate words that have been heaped upon us. We would never treat our brethren as we have been treated. Yet it is that treatment that we came to earth to experience. And you would not be the magnificent, the compassionate, the kind and loving you that you are now if you had not lived through this challenging entrainment. Now, however, the dark side of your life is over. You are ascending in this wonderful time of revelation. And part of the revelation is that you are light workers. You have come to earth to fulfill your God-given mission. Your God-given mission is to help your brethren out of their delusion, out of the mire of negativity into which they have been trained. 
Yes, you have felt shame and guilt. You have felt the shame and guilt that were heaped upon you. But now, dear souls, it is time to leave all self-castigation, all censorious feelings behind. Now that you know who and what you are, now that you are in the upper room and free of the illusional delusion into which you were born, it is time for self-realization and self-actualization. Wake up, dear ones. You volunteer to come to earth to help. We are in the midst of the great revelation, which will disclose to all on earth the deception under which you have lived. Your still sleeping brethren will be stunned. They will be in a state of shock. They will need help, and you, who understand what is happening, will be here in your assigned place to help them. Each light worker has their assigned place and a congregation that they are here to serve. The time is rapidly approaching when you will be sorely needed, for there will be great discombobulation and chaos as the perfidy of the dark ones is revealed. And, dear ones, if you still have lingering doubts as to who you are, think of this. You are so kind, so compassionate. Who would you like to have as your best friend? Whose behaviour is so loving that they would always put others first? Who questions every word and deed that they be kind and considerate? Why, it is you, dear one. There is no one in your immediate environment that is as kind and caring as you are. You would love to have yourself as your best friend, so be your best friend. Love yourself intensely and immensely. What's not to love? You have an incredible moral compass. Your words, your mien, your very beingness are invariably kind and caring. Leave behind any feelings of inferiority, of being less than. You are great and grand souls come to earth to live the negative entrainment that the planet Earth experience provides and to rise from the ashes of denigration. And so, you enter the most exciting, the most profound period of your lives. We want you to get excited about your life. We want you to realize the profundity of who and what you are. It is time, dear ones. It is your time. You are coming into your own. Jesus, the man, will not return. He personified the Christ consciousness that you are now learning to emanate. He lifted the vibration of humanity so that you could come to earth to fulfill your holy mission. And now lightworkers across the world are beginning to exemplify the love that he brought to earth. You wrote a contract before you reincarnated as to the major events you would experience, as to the negative, dark and difficult feelings you would feel. You have lived the contract in exemplary fashion. It is time to rewrite it now. It is time to move on to the great and glorious part of your earthly life. Leave behind all doubts, all negativity, all shame, blame and guilt. Again. Love yourself immensely and intensely, for you are divine. God himself created you. You are an aspect of God, a divine soul, a drop of water in the ocean of God consciousness. Yes, all is divine, for there is nothing outside God. The difference is with you now that your memory is returning. The Christ consciousness shines through your eyes, illuminates your very being. Divine souls, dear hearts, be of good cheer, for your fate, your destiny, is at hand. And with great and happy conviction, we know the best is yet to come. Yes, the best is yet to come, as the new world, the new heavenly earth, comes into being. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed. <laughs>